why are all these bags like bigger than my freaking head though right now like honestly guys oh my god so <laughs> here we are just lounging on my couch i actually really love this setup right now because it's like i'm on the couch it's like comfy what is in my mouth oh my god so this is like a chill vibe i really love i got my coffee large iced blueberry coffee with extra cream and liquid sugar my fave i'll just set it up there and then like whenever i need a drink so here are the little goodies i got today for my little breakfast i've never done like one of these videos before i think oh my god i think i have everything in here oh yes lord these little bitches honestly could just turn your world upside down within a matter of seconds like for real like let's just take a first bite okay like Mmm. So good. Uh. Mm. Mm. Hash browns are honestly, I like look back because I thought there was like someone like coming into my house, but it was just like a car driving by. Um. Mmm. 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 So gum. Oh. Get to the chest a little bit. I got... I like tried eating that hash brown as fast as I could. And I'm like kind of regretting it. I wish I savored each moment. But this is like literally how I am when I eat. I need a little forky. Oh my god, I just like spit some of that hash brown out. <coughs> Wait, hold on. I need a drink. Oh my god. Some of that hash brown was like still stuck in my throat. <coughs> oh my god. I just kind of wanted to come on here today and talk about my last video a little bit because I was a mess like makeup everywhere I was crying it was so dramatic but it's just honestly something like I've been going through like yesterday I just I was kind of like non-social media like nothing because I just needed really some time to like think about like my life and stuff because it it's definitely hard like the things I'm going through like I'm only 20 years old like kind of going into adulthood and it's just it can be really stressful and hard sometimes and I'm happy and really grateful and lucky enough to like have the mindset to where like I know everything will be okay even if I do get like really really sad and upset sometimes like I know things will like be okay and everything like will work out like I haven't had a past of like depression or like suicidal thoughts or anything that's just like not who I am that's not like how I've been um I've had a really loving and accepting and supportive family who's like there for me like when I need them the most and it's just really amazing I love my life and I love my life every single day even if I do get like down about like some things it's life what are you gonna do you're not gonna have like the most perfect Cinderella life even though like we all want that perfect life. You know what I mean? It's just hard. These pancakes, hold up, are just so cute. Like, look at them. And little side note, my little Whitney Houston t-shirt that I'm obsessed with. I got it from Rue 21. Rue 21. I literally thought that was like the most ghetto store ever. But it was like $2. And like, I needed to get it. And if you see my roommate in the background, <laughs> don't be distracted. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so pissed when I say roommate. Okay, my sister's dad. Say hi. Not a fucking roommate. Not a fucking roommate. I do go through like hard times and I just want to say thank you guys so much for like reaching out to me and messaging me. People are like messaging me asking if I was okay and I just want to let you know I am okay no matter what I go through in life. I was literally at the point that like after that video... I packed all my shit in my car. I packed all my things. Like, I put all my pillows, like, blankets I was going to take. I packed clothes, put them all, like, in, like, trash bags. I was ready to move to fucking L.A. 
and be homeless. Okay, so like literally right now, I am crazy. I don't even know what I think sometimes. This is the inside of my car. I did this all last night because this morning I could have swore like I was just gonna be off and on my way to Los Angeles to be homeless. Like literally that was gonna be like my bed. I have this big blanket that would have kept me warm. All these pillows, my stuffed animal just to keep me company. All my bags of like my shirts, my panties, like some shorts, a bathing suit. Like I was ready to go. Like literally, cause I already know I have like no money with me. Like I only had like $2, not $2, $200 to my name. And I was literally about to fucking leave. I had my iPass ready and everything. And I was just about to go and not look back. But then like I slept on it because I like cried myself to sleep with my puppy. And I woke up with a new mindset and I was like, Dakota, you're actually really fucking stupid. Why would you move and be homeless when you have shelter, you have home? And just like, why would you do that to yourself? I just like think the craziest scenario sometimes, but it's my dream. I really want to move to LA one day. I was even like YouTubing videos on like homeless people in LA and like, it's no joke. Like they don't have homes. Like there's prostitution, they get into drugs. And I'm just not, hold on, this pancake. And like I was talking to my mom on the phone, my sister and everybody. And I feel better now. I mean, what are you gonna do? This is my life right now. It's crazy, it's a struggle, but you need struggle in order to be strong in life, you know what I mean? Yesterday, actually, it was like towards like maybe three o'clock or so, I get a phone call and it's actually from my manager. And he's like, what happened? Like I wasn't there, like, can you tell me everything that happened? So I was like telling him and, and he was like, I'm really like sorry, like all that like happened to you. And I just feel like we all need to be on the same page. Like, I want you to, like, feel safe at work and stuff. And it definitely is, like, not fair. Like, he definitely, like, understood, like, what I was saying and where I was coming from. Ooh, there's, like, a piece of my hair and my pancake. So, I mean, it's just, like, more to think of. Like, do I want to stay there? I mean, I just need to make money and, like make a living like I need to survive I need to make food I need to pay rent it's just like a mess and at my retail job I make like 8.50 an hour so like add that up that's like not shit unless I'm working like all the time but oh my god my syrup was like dripping I'm good though you know what have I been through in life that I couldn't handle it's just crazy sometimes. I just can't get over how beautiful these pancakes are right now. Oh, shit. But hold the fuck up. Can we talk about the Halloween trailer that came out yesterday? I have literally watched it, not even kidding, more than like 200 times. Most of those views are from me. I was like dissecting the trailer, trying to see like what happened. I already know like a couple of the death scenes just so I can like add them all up in the trailer. I have been the biggest Michael Myers fan. Like Michael Myers is my husband ever since I was little. I was watching horror movies since I was like literally five years old. Can you not? But I am so pumped for this movie to come out. I think it's, like, amazing how they're just, like, disregarding all the other Halloween movies. I mean, there were a couple good ones. The Rob Zombie ones. Personally, if I watched one of those, like, I couldn't sleep for, like, two weeks. So bloody, so gruesome. I mean, they were really good, but, like, too much for me to handle. I'm just really excited though that it's like 40 years later, it's like a direct sequel from the original, original 1978 one. And it's with Jamie Lee Curtis, like what actress has gone back to their role 40 years later? It's just awesome, it's amazing. 
John Carpenter is still going to be like directing or producing it. I don't remember which one like he does. So I'm just really, really pumped. It comes out Halloween. Close to my birthday, November 9th. Oh my God. It's just made to be. I'm also really excited for The Incredibles to come out. Oh my God. That's another movie I've been like obsessed with ever since I was little. I like wanted to be them. I wanted like our family to have superpowers like that. It's just, I'm really excited. Halloween though. Mm. When I get really excited about something, I show it to everyone. I like send it to all my family members. I'm like, y'all, y'all ain't ready for my club. Y'all ain't ready for this movie. But I'm like really, really excited for that. So that's like a kind of positive in my life right now that I'm like looking forward to and really excited about. Oh my god, I'm also really excited for Pride this month. I've never been so happy and ecstatic for Pride before. I mean, my first Pride I ever went to was last year with my mom. Really, really just the greatest time of my life. I felt so free. Everyone that was there... Like, just all music, dancing. It was, like, hot as hell. But, like, my makeup still lasted. My eyebrows were on. My eyeliner was on. I'm really excited for this year. I kind of want to go all out with my outfit. Social media is played out. I love social media. Go plant a flower or something. You better get a job. <laughs> I have a job. I am just really, really happy to be a part of the community, the LGBTQIA plus community. It's like a growing community and it gets bigger and bigger every day and it's just more and more love and I'm just, I, I do, I genuinely do love my life. I'm really, really excited for my sister. She is literally as big as like three watermelons all put together. She is pregnant right now if none of you knew that. And so I'm literally an aunties, and it's crazy. I've never been an aunties before. I'm literally going to spoil my niece like it's no one's business. I mean, I hope I'm, like, a little more rich before, like, she comes out so I can spoil her. But just, like, put eyebrows on her and, like, do her makeup. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I'm also just really, really excited for my sister because... My sister has been through a lot in her life, and she's always been, like, a mom figure. Like, she's always been attracted to babies. Like, she would always hold them. She loved just, like, meeting new babies, like, thinking just every baby is cute. Me, personally, I really don't like babies because I think they're, like, weird and, like, ugly and, like, they're just, like, annoying sometimes and, like, that's too much for me to handle. You know what I mean? So I get, like, really, like, anxious. Not anxious, what's the word? Like, when a chihuahua gets, like, all shaky and scared. That's, like, how I am around babies. Like, they'll be like, oh, like, do you want to hold my baby? And I'm like, get away from me because <laughs> I am a mess. I will probably, like, mess up your child or something. I don't know. I get, like, really weird. That's why I'm just, like, better with dogs and stuff. I love dogs. But I'm just really excited for her to, like, pop this little nugget out. She's so huge. She could literally burst any minute now. She could like literally burst as I'm filming this right now. I think she, her due date is literally on 4th of July, but girl, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, she's about to give birth before then. I only have one more bite of this pancake left and I could honestly cry. Okay, maybe I will get a little depressed right now because <laughs> this pancake was so good. It's the last one, okay? Ugh. Let's just take a moment of silence for this last bite. Okay, that was a long moment. Oh my God. Okay. That was delicious. So yummy. I usually don't even like eating breakfast in the morning, but today I just woke up really hungry. Ah! Oh my god, I have like a little bit of syrup on the couch. Dakota, get it together. That wasn't the last thing, so don't get too crazy, y'all. 
I did order one last thing. Oh my god, I'm about to like throw up. I like have this problem where like I'll swallow but all the food will still be in my throat and it'll get stuck there and then I like won't breathe for a little bit. It's weird. Uh, oh, I got a sausage burrito. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh my god, I love McDonald's. It's funny because, like, we all know how unhealthy McDonald's is. But it's like, will we stop eating it? Nope. Nope, we will not because it is good as fuck. I've been, like, on a 24-hour bender. I think I just spit. Bender or binger? One means alcohol. One is, like, I think, 24-hour bender. We're just going to go with that. 24-hour bender of just eating so much fast food because I'm an emotional eater. I've realized food makes me happy, and that's kind of like my outlet. It, like, always has been. And I guess that's better than, like, alcohol and drugs. Yesterday, I literally spent a little over $20 at Taco Bell just for me alone because... I was so hungry, and I just had to have it. That's where, like, most of all my money goes, anyways, is, like, to food. But, like, we need food to survive, you know what I mean? Oh, my God, I've been trying to, like, open this packet, but I can't because my nails. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, a second. Hold on. Oh, it says tear here. I need scissors. Hold up. Okay. We back. But yeah. Ah! Oh my god. I can't do any more of these kinds of videos because I am like the messiest eater ever. Oh. Fire and desire. Oh my god. I love like sauces too. Oh my god, my lipstick's like all over the burrito. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bless you. Mm. I'm mad. Y'all, we got one last bite. Oh my god, I eat my food so fast. I'm literally like a garbage disposal. Three, two, one. Cheers, bitches. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. No! Oh my god. I like to like poop already. I love this couch so much. Because like... It's just so comfy. It's like a cloud. And then I have like this cute like fuzzy blanket. This is like literally where I chill most of my life. <laughs> like when I'm not like out and about or like working or whatever. I'm literally just on this couch. I don't even watch TV. I'll just like scroll through my phone. One thing I was really, really excited to film today for was because last night I got a text message from someone I have not talked to in a little while due to like some circumstances and I was really really nervous to open it just to like see what it would say and everything like I could kind of see what it said just from like looking you know like when you go to your messages and you could see like half the message and I thought I would open it while I was filming I'm gonna open the text message now and I'm really, really nervous. Like, I haven't talked to this person at all. Like, we don't have each other on social media anymore or anything. 
And I was like really, really close to this person. Oh my God, my mom just texted me. Enjoy your day with a little smiley face. Oh my God. I'm crying. My mom literally sent me a picture because she lives in Indiana. And I'm in Wisconsin, so I don't like have my dogs with me. And she sent me a picture of my two babies, Gemma and Leo. My little doggies. It's this picture. Oh my god, they're like such models I can't even deal. And she said, enjoy your day, smiley face. She doesn't even know how much it just like made my day. Oh my god. I love them so much I can't even deal. Why am I like getting teary eyed? <laughs> oh, I just did my makeup. Okay, Dakota, calm down. Calm it down. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. The text <laughs> says, Hey Dakota, I know you aren't doing well and I just want you to know that I'll always be here to talk if need be. Always be here to talk if need be. I think that was like a little grammar mistake, but I hope you're doing okay. I don't, I don't know how to respond to this, honestly. This is just like... I'll have to deal with that whole situation later. I can't do that while I'm filming because then I'll get like all emotional again and start crying. Oh my God, can you just stop crying on camera, Dakota? Like, honestly. Everyone's like, why don't you just move, Dakota? Why don't you just move? I mean, it's easier said than done. I mean, I might be overthinking it. I might not, but it's just like my response to that is how can you move when you're not in the best financial situation you know what I mean you like obviously need to pay for rent even if you do have a roommate or something how am I just gonna move to Chicago how am I just gonna move to LA like it's really difficult and it like stresses me out thinking about it like at this point though I'm just ready to like go I don't even care like I said, I can make a cute little bed in my car and just go off on my way. But then, like, how would I shower and, like, shave and, like, scrub my butthole clean? <laughs> I just need to do what I love. And that is, honestly, filming and, like, doing makeup. I honestly want to do more makeup tutorials than just post them and stuff. Because I really enjoy doing that. Like, I love editing and I love filming and I just love having my own little thing going on and yeah I know everything will be okay but we just all we just all go through a little bit of this and a little bit of that <laughs> sometimes but I just want to thank everyone again so much for reaching out to me and being there for me it, I know I always say, like, it means so much to me. Thank you so much. Like, it, it truly does. I don't know what I would feel if I didn't have that much love and support. I don't know where my mindset would be. There is people out there who understand me, and there is people out there who, like, watch me and listen to me, and I love it. I love every one of you that's watching, even if you're a stranger, and... Until my next little video. Mm, adios. <laughs>